Hi, I'm Casey here at the Performance Locker, and I just want to take you through some of the basics to make sure you have next time you go out for your long trail ride. So we want to make sure that we're out on the mountain bike and out on the trails. A lot of times if we run into a problem, um, it's hard if we don't have the tools or equipment that we need in order to get it fixed or taken care of. So this is all about making sure that you have everything you need so you can enjoy that next ride and avoid any of those big bumps in the road, no pun intended. Here's some things you want to make sure you have when you're out on a trail. Something to keep water in, either a hydration pack or a water bottle. A multi-tool and make sure it has a chain break. A pump, preferably a two-stage one. A couple tire levers. A patch kit. A spare tube. A master link in case you run into chain issues. Your phone, something to protect and hold it in. A little bit extra cash maybe and some food if you're gonna be out for more than a couple hours. All right, first and foremost is always hydration and fuel. It's tough when we're out on the trails because there's usually not a lot of places to stop and get water if we run out, especially if you're gonna be out for long rides or multiple hours. So you can always opt for the bottle cage and the water bottle sitting on the bike. However, if you run out, you run out. So we can't hold a ton of water on the bike. The other downfall is, is if you're working some more technical areas or some rocky downhills or if you take a spill, it's easier for that to fall off. Some people don't like the extra weight on the bike frame. So that's always an option, but if you want to get rid of the water bottle and get rid of stuff on the frame, we can always opt for something like a camel bag, so a hydration backpack. The other benefit to this is if you're out for a long time, you can take extra stuff and extra gear and you can keep it on the pack. It's on your back and that way you don't have to worry about things rattling around the bike or being heavy. Uh, a lot of people opt for a saddlebag on the bike. I like it, so that way I know that stuff's always with me on the bike. But sometimes people, again, don't like the extra weight. They don't like things bopping around, so that way I can keep all my spare tubes and everything in this pack as well. This guy holds 100, uh, 100 ounces of water, so you're pretty good for a long time out on the trail, multiple hours. This will have you covered, even if you don't have to place a stop and, and refill your water bottles. When you're looking at nutrition, uh, if you're going to be out for more than an hour, so looking at your two plus hour rides, making sure you have stuff that's going to sustain you through. I like some of these baby food packets. It's just pureed fruits and vegetables. They're quick, they're easy, and it's more of a whole food choice. However, you always have options with things like bars and gels and trail mix and snacks and whatever else you want. So just pick what works best for you, what sits well in your belly, and what's quick, belly and quick and easily and digestible. All right, no one ever wants to have to perform trail side maintenance, but the reality is, is you're in tough conditions, you're hitting roots, you're hitting rocks, there's potential jumps, there's downhills, the terrain is uneven, so it puts a lot of wear and tear on your bike. I always like to make sure I'm a little bit over prepared in terms of mountain biking, so that way if something breaks, then I'm, I'm ready to fix it. I've always had more technical and, and issues out on the trails than I ever have out on the road, so I want to be ready for them. A big thing I make sure to keep is a master link. Now, if you have a SRAM or Shimano chain, this is how they get attached, through this master link. We have a video on how to fix your chain if it gets broken out on the trail or out on the road, so check that out. But I always carry a master link with me, that way if mine breaks or if I run into train, chain issues, I have that tucked in the bag and it's ready to go. Always make sure that you have a multi-tool. Now, for the mountain bike, I opt for the beefier ones that have pretty much everything you're gonna need. Every star nut and, and every screwdriver and every Allen key. But the other big thing is making sure that you have a chain breaker. So that way if I do run into a chain issue, I have the tools to be able to fix it on trail and I can at least get myself home. You might not be able to finish out the ride the rest of the day like you wanted to, but at least you can pedal out to the front of the trailhead and be ready to go. So make sure you got one with the chain breaker. Uh, again, if you're wearing a backpack or have a heavier bag, this is something to make sure to keep in there and, and, and a little bit extra weight is not gonna hurt, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. Making sure that a flat tire doesn't end your ride is another huge part of being out on the trails. Uh, if you're running a tube tire system, a lot of mountain bikers are starting to opt for tubeless, but if you're running a tube system, make sure that you have everything you need. Now, if you have a big saddlebag or if you have a big backpack, maybe carrying two tubes is not a bad idea, again, depending on the conditions that you're gonna be in, but always make sure you have at least one tube. On my mountain bike, I always make sure I have a patch kit or multiple patches, so that way if I just get a puncture, which is very, very common, uh, then I can just patch the tube that's in there and I can keep the other one in my bag in case I run into a second one. There have been rides I've been on that I've gone through two different tubes, and luckily I had the patch kit, so that way when it blew out the second time or the, the stem ripped off, then I had that other tube to get me home and I was, I was good and taken care of. You wanna make sure you have at least two different tire levers. Sometimes the tires on the mountain bike can be a little bit harder to get off, so having those on there is really, really helpful and, and valuable. As far as a pump goes, 
For a mountain bike, we're not running a lot of PSI, so I usually just opt for the standard pump. Um, you can get a two-stage pump to make it go a little bit quicker. That means it's gonna blow air out on both cycles of the, of the motion. And a lot of them have times where you can just uh, mount right into your water bottle cage and you're good to go. You can opt for CO2. It's quick, it's easy and effective, but again, mountain bike tires don't need as much pressure as road bike tires, so I think that's a quick and easy way that you can, you can have everything you need and get your tires pumped up and ready to go. And that's it. Those are your bare necessities on the mountain bike to make sure that you have everything you need to enjoy your ride and get home safely.